So today we're going to be looking at the MX Master 3S for Mac. Now, I think the MX Masters are the best productivity mice on the market, and I've been using the MX Master mice for years. So tonight we're going to be unboxing the new 3S, we're going to take a look over its new features, and we're also going to be comparing it against the old MX Masters and seeing how well it actually performs. So first, let's unbox it. So opening the box, you're greeted to the actual mouse itself, which is very nice. It's not actually packed away in anything. So pulling the mouse out, put it to one side. Let's see what else we get in here. Manual and a USB-C to USB-C cable, because obviously for Mac, uh, Macs are mostly USB-C nowadays. And that really is it. It's quite bare bones. Now, because I've bought the Mac version, although this can use the, the new Logitech Bolt dongle, they won't give you one in the box with the Mac version, which is, I think, quite tight, really. And the reason I believe that is, is because most Macs uh, use Bluetooth. They don't have the old-fashioned USB, and the, the new Bolt receivers are still USB. So if you buy the Mac version, you're going to be using it via Bluetooth, unless you want to actually go and buy yourself the Bolt receiver separately and plug that into your Mac. But bear in mind, it is only in USB-A, so the old-style USB. Now this comes in two colours. I've got the, the light version here. There's also the sort of the darker carbon version. Uh, I love the soft touch finish they use on these mice. And it just feels like a glove for your hand. It's such a comfortable mouse. And your hand just feels absolutely perfect. It's quite heavy. It's certainly not heavier than gaming mice. But for a productivity mouse, I just don't think you can find anything better than that. Looking around the mouse itself, when it comes out of the box, it does have a sticker on the bottom you're going to need to remove. Now straight away, we can see they've got the USB-C connector at the front so you can plug in to charge. I believe you can use it wired as well. We've got the on and off button. There's the sensor here. And we've got our profile button here because we can switch it between three different devices. And although this is the Mac version, you can still use it on a Windows PC. And you can buy the Windows version and use it on the Mac. It makes no difference. And then on the left and right and the front and back, you can see we've got the PTFE feet so that it glides smoothly. As we move over, you can see we've got a range of buttons on the top. You've got your typical left and right mouse buttons, but this year they've used silent clicks with this mouse. And the difference is incredible, especially if you want to be in a quiet environment. This over last year's, and we will test them both together in a second, I mean, it's night and day difference. We've got the usual scroll wheel that if you press it gently, you get the usual nice click, but you can then flick it and it instantly switches to the high speed hyperglide, so there's zooming through menus. Another button on the top, which can be configurable in the software. We've got the left and right horizontal thumb wheel. That fits nicely on the top of your thumb there. And then the forward and backward buttons below. And the actual power indicator on the side. And then where you rest your thumb, that's also another button as well. This is all configurable in the Logitech software. I'm going to take a look at that in a little while. So I just want to quickly talk about the whole MX range over the years. So this is the original Performance MX. And here we've got the... MX Master 2, the MX Master 3, and the model we were just reviewing, the MX Master 3S. So you can see that the 3 and 3S, the design is exactly the same, so we will talk about the difference in a second. But as we go back through the past, they have changed the design quite significantly. On the 2, not only is the shape very slightly different, but the buttons on the side are also very different. The 3 and 3S are much more comfortable to use with the proper uh, forward and backward buttons. I also do prefer the shape of the 3, it feels slightly more comfortable in the hand. And the original MX, it looks really quite ugly now when you look at it when you're up against these. There's no scroll wheel on the sides. The shape is different again, it's incredibly heavy. So there's been made a lot of changes over the years and the 3 and 3S is an absolute perfection of design in my opinion. So looking at the 3 and the 3S, firstly the colours. This is the graphite colour and this is obviously the, the light grey. These choices are still available on the 3S, so you can have either of these. There's also a black model in the actual 3S. Now the main differences between these two mice, there's not a lot, is the 3S has twice the DPI rate at 8000, so it is going to be slightly more accurate than the older 3. And then the other difference, as I mentioned, is the quiet clicks. It's 90% quieter than the actual 3. So if I take my microphone and put it near the clickers so that you can hear the difference,
Now, some people like a clicky mouse, so they may prefer the actual 3 to the 3S. But if you're using the mouse in a quiet environment or maybe on a sofa next to your partner, then having those quiet clicks are very handy. And it does feel really satisfying when you are clicking it as well. Also, with the MX range, you can have the keyboards to match. Now, this here is the MX keyboard for the Mac. And as you can see, the color matches the light gray and it's got the whole same aesthetic going along. And the typing feel on this MX keyboard is fantastic as well. And this is a great productivity set uh, for your Mac or your PC. You can choose either when you're ordering it. Now, if you're buying the new MX Keys Mini, this is also bolt enabled. So one bolt receiver will connect both of these devices. Whereas the older three and the other older MX Keys, they use the older Logitech Nano receivers. Now there's not a great deal of difference, but the bolt is supposed to be more secure for a work environment and they're not cross compatible. Obviously you could just use Bluetooth with both these devices. And if you're on a Mac, you're probably used to Bluetooth anyway. So I've installed the Logi Options Plus software on the Mac. And as you can see, it's instantly picked up my MX Master 3S as, as well as the MX Keys for Mac. Now, as you can see, we've got 50% battery left. I like the fact that it shows it in the software and 75% on the keyboard. Now, the great news with this actual mouse itself is it's got a 70 day battery life as stated by Logitech. Now, I haven't timed that exactly, but I can tell you that I've been using this mouse an absolute ton and I just can't seem to drain it. So I do think that 70 days is accurate. And also three minutes of charge over the USB-C port gives you eight hours of battery life. So even if you do die, a very quick charge will give you a day's battery life. You can also see underneath the devices that we've got the little Bluetooth symbol because they're both connected via Bluetooth. If you've got the Logitech Bolt receiver, you can also be connected via the Bolt and that would show there as well. And if we want to configure the mouse, if I just click on it, now it takes us through to the actual configuration. By default, it's set to the shift wheel mode and this will change the wheel between the ratcheted feel of a normal mouse to the smooth resistance mode where you can literally flick and scroll right the way through the actual pages that you're browsing through. Now, personally, I always have it on the ratcheted because if you push hard on the ratchet, it glides anyway. So I always change the middle to shift wheel. I usually have mine set to the actual launch pad and with a very quick change in the actions button, pressing this button now brings my launch pad menu up, which I use quite regularly. You can change all of the buttons to how you want it configured by just by clicking on the button and changing the actual function. I like the rest of them as they are, but it's great that you can configure it. It'll also recognize your regularly used apps and you can see Final Cut Pro, Safari, Zoom, and it can configure the buttons differently depending on the app that you're actually using, particularly handy in Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, as I hover over my app, it tells me what the buttons are doing. That's very handy. There's the point and scroll option, which allows you to adjust the speeds of your, your pointers and scroll wheels. We have the easy switch, and this is the button at the bottom. It tells you what you're connected to, so you can easily switch between them with that via that little button. We've got the flow option. Now this, if you've got two computers and you're controlling it with one keyboard and mouse, you can switch between them by flowing right across. Personally, I don't use this. I've only got the one iMac on my desk and I'm happy with that, but it's nice that that option is available. And then you've got the settings at the very bottom. Now I have to say the software is very intuitive. It's very quick and easy to install. And it's just a great piece of software that I've used with these keyboard and mouse, really handy. But once you have set your mouse or keyboard up, you just literally just leave it running in the background. Now moving on to the actual performance of the mouse itself. This is only over Bluetooth and it tracks incredibly accurately, very smoothly. And up until recently, I wouldn't even consider using a Bluetooth mouse for a productivity mouse or a day-to-day -day mouse. But as of the Logitech 3, the Bluetooth has got so good on these mice, I use this day in, day out without any issues. No dropouts and very smooth performance, which is something you didn't used to get with Bluetooth. It would often be very jittery. This is absolutely perfect. I don't even realize I'm on Bluetooth. Same with the keyboard. They work seamlessly together. And I don't even realize I'm on Bluetooth. It's so responsive. So no problems with the Bluetooth on these devices. So there we go. In my opinion, these are the ultimate productivity mice. They work amazingly on Windows or on Mac. I love having the two together. They work seamlessly together. But even if you're just buying the mouse, it is such an incredible mouse for your day-to-day -day workflow. Well worth the cost of this product. As always, if you've got any questions, pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as usual, thank you for watching.